Guess how much weight I've lost. I have lost 12 stubborn menopausal pounds. Yay! I am thrilled. I have three more to go. I had been so down because over the last year and a half, I had put on 15 pounds and I had not changed my eating or exercising. I was exercising four to six times a week and I ate good healthy food. I maybe a little too much good healthy food, but you know, I am not a terrible eater. This weight came on so quick, I was at my wits end. I went online in desperation because Weight Watchers wasn't working for me anymore and I found Mary Clay Haver's books. The first one I found was this one and I devoured it. I mean, I've got little notes in it all over the place. I devoured this book and within two days I had bought this one and a few days later I was taking her Refuel and Refocus Challenge. It has changed my life. I don't crave carbs in the slightest bit. I don't care about donuts and, and candy, none of that. My cravings are gone for processed carbs. If you wanna buy either of Mary's books down below, I have left links for you to make it super easy to shoot you right over to Amazon. So check those links after you watch this. And now I have changed my entire YouTube channel to focus strictly on me getting my weight off, but also helping you on your menopausal journey. Today, I'm going to show you an amazing quick recipe for a delicious stir fry that is Galveston diet friendly and it fits really well into your first three to six weeks of refuel refocus. So stay tuned to this amazing stir fry using some delicious pre-made up cauliflowered rice from Costco. First things first, when I am making a stir fry, what I like to do is season my oil first. So I put a quarter cup of avocado oil in a pan and just had it on super low heat, super, super low, and added probably about two to three teaspoons of fresh ginger chopped up and about two cloves of garlic. So I let this get to a slight where I saw a little bubble around the edges, the oil, and then I turned it off and let it sit. And then I did it again, let it get a little hot again and turned it off, not bubbling like all over the place, snap, crackle, pop. We are just talking about a nice, mild, low heat, just to get those flavors out of the garlic and ginger and blooming into your oil. Next, I'm putting two pounds of ground chicken in this mixture. Key for you here, when you are stirring up your meat, and if you bought a meat where sometimes they inject liquid into it, if if it's watery, wait for that all to burn off and evaporate before you add your vegetables, or you're gonna end up with a watery mess and you don't want that. Okay, back to what we're doing here. I am using a half of Savoy cabbage. If you are not a huge cabbage eater, Savoy cabbage and Napa cabbages are for you. They are much more tender and uh, they, they cut much easier and they don't have as cabbage -a a cabbage a flavor, there we say. They don't have that harshness that regular cabbage or purple cabbage has. I bought this at Costco to try something different. It's riced cauliflower stir fry in steamable bags. I did not steam it. I just left two bags out on the counter and just let them thaw. Once our chicken is completely cooked through, it's time to put in our cabbage. This cabbage doesn't take as long to cook as the regular green and purple cabbages do. So we're putting our whole half, our whole half head, we're putting our half head of cabbage in there and we're just gonna stir it all up, let that cook. It doesn't take long, just a couple minutes. After about like two, three minutes getting that, you know, incorporated into your meat, then put in your bags of the riced fried cauliflower, get that all mixed in there. And guys, your meal, is, is done, it just needs to get hot. Here's where you have some decisions to make. I decided before I even started, I wanted to make mine kind of a peanut satay. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of a soy sauce with 
peanut butter, a little bit of sugar, and some green onions, and things like that. Well, I'm not using the sugar, but I mixed two tablespoons of natural peanut butter, no sugar added, with about three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, and it made a paste, and I just kind of blobbed that around. It was hard to get incorporated, but I didn't want to add any water to that mixture because I didn't want my, my um, stir fry to get soupy. It took a while to mix it in. So as it was all cooking, I put that in there, mixed it up. It was spectacular. And then we put a little more soy sauce on top and some Sri Racha, of course, green onions and cilantro to finish fresh. If you wanted to squeeze some lime, you could. We did not. If you don't have green onions and cilantro, it still would be tasty. But I'm telling you, little things like having green onion, cilantro, parsley, lemons and limes on hand will knock your food up a couple notches. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Again, remember, click on the link below get these books, both of them. They are amazing, so full of information. And also, subscribe below. I would love for you to subscribe so we can chat, you can get all my recipes, and I want you to see my menopause and aging journey as I see yours. So let's do this together, let's age gracefully, and have fun doing it.